Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Savvy Annex. In today's video, we're going to learn about an important concept under the class 9 motion chapter, which is distance and displacement. After learning this concept, you will be able to understand motion more and you will be able to understand the concepts under motion. Now, before we get into today's video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you'll get a notification as soon as I upload a video. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So first, let us know what is distance. Distance, it is the length of the path travelled. Now, let's take an example. How about you're at your home and we'll take your home as point A and you're going to your grocery shop. This is the path you travelled and we'll mark the point B as the grocery shop. Now, from the, the length of the path travelled from A to B, we'll mark it as how about 10 metres. So now, the distance travelled from A to B is 10 metres because distance is equal to the length of the path travelled and the path from A to B, the length of this path is 10 metres. So the distance is 10 metres. Now the distance is denoted by a small s and SL unit of distance is meter. This meter is used to measure the value of distance. So distance depends on the path. Why is that so? We'll take another example. How about a body is moving from point A and it reaches its destination at point B. Now I mark this point as C. D, E, and F. Now, to take the value of the distance from A to B, you have to measure the value of each of these parts, which is A to C plus A to C to D plus D to E plus E to F and plus F to B. That will be our distance because it depends on the path. That's why we have to measure each of the path and then only you can find the distance. Distance is always known to be positive. Now let's check if it is correct or not. Now distance, a body is moving from here to here and then it's going like this, finally reaches the destination and again starts its journey from point B to C. Now you can see that whenever you have motion, when a body is having motion, the distance is increasing, which means the path is increasing. So the length of the path also increases. It adds up more. That's why the distance is always positive. Because if it's increasing, it will always be positive. When it's decreasing, that time only it will be negative. But distance is always positive. Now distance is equal or greater than zero. Now distance is greater than zero because it's always positive and all the positive numbers lie after zero. So it's greater than zero. Then will distance be equal to zero? This happens when a body is not moving. It is at the same place. It has no motion. That time alone, distance will be equal to zero. Distance is a scalar quantity. Now what is a scalar quantity? Scalar quantity we can simply define as Quantities which have only magnitude. Now, what is magnitude? You can see here, here we calculated the distance is equal to 10 meters. So, this 10 is the numerical value and meter is the unit. So, the numerical value multiplied by the unit, these two will form the magnitude. So, since distance only has magnitude, that's why it's a scalar quantity. So this is all about distance and I hope you're clear about the distance concept and in the next week we will learn about displacement also and then you will be further able to understand and you can also relate which one is distance and which one is displacement. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Savvy Annex. Stay tuned for more interesting videos and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye friends.